Her educational history is quite impressive. I took free tutorials and tested through. To work on an ice hauler. I deliver ice. You use us belters as slaves. How is the ice on KB? How would I know? BB's a research station off limits to belters. Belt, 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 belt. Do you think I'm OP? What, we all know each other and we're all terrorists, right? I have no resentment. I don't believe in causes and I will not be your scapegoat. James Holden. What about him? He has no love for Earth. He's from Earth. He hasn't been back in over 12 years. Well, maybe it's his family. People don't work long-range freight because they love it at home. Who'd you leave behind? Hands where I can see them, please. Why did you leave the Canterbury? We were answering the distress call. Belter scrubbed his chest calls all the time, nine times out of ten. It's pirates. Our freighter captain would not have answered it. So who did? Hmm? Who registered the call? Someone who survived? The brute? Unlikely. The pilot? No? No, he's one of us. The so-called medic. No. Was it you? Was it you? Hands where I can see them. <laughs> Not you. It was Holden. He registered the call. You and Holden are working together. Where's Naomi? What the hell is this? You join up? Wait, what? That's an option? What did you guys tell him? To suck it. Everything. I told them everything. Anything they wanted to know, I told them. I, I, I think I even made some stuff up at the end. I can't remember. I just kept talking. They told me Naomi's OPA. Is that true? Who cares? They'll say anything to get in our heads. They told me that you faked your medical records and signed on to the can to get away from a drug dealer who wanted you dead. Well, that's true. So. You okay? You? Yeah. Are you okay? Unbelievable. I'm coming from you. Just answer the question, darling. I'm not your darling, and you're obviously one of them. All right, all right, let's just settle down. You didn't down. answer my question. We putting all our cards on the table here. Look, kids, these Navy boys, they're not going to play with us all day. So unless y'all want to spend the rest of your lives breaking big rocks into little ones at Olympus Mons, somebody better come clean. You stopped me from chasing down the ship that killed the camp. Why? Because you were being a reckless idiot. Yeah? Or is it because they were friends of yours? Watch your mouth. And you? No one knows anything about you. Except you do whatever she says. So what was my big plan, huh? To sit on a ship bucket like the camp for five years while all of this got set up? Sleeper agents. You ever heard of them? Well, screw you! Guys, guys. Human shield. You ever heard of those? Here we go again. Call the guard. He'll take the first few bullets. Hey! <coughs> Enough! Hey! I'm ready to talk, but only to your captain. I'm ready to talk. Let him go. Amos, do it. <laughs> Captain, I'll speak to you now.
Mr. Holden. As we speak, your face is on every screen and terminal in the system, saying, in effect, that Mars destroyed the Canterbury. This is a lie, the kind of lie that can lead to war. You will publicly recant your statement. You guarantee the safety of my people. And I'll say whatever you want. You will put out the fire you started by telling everyone, everywhere, that Mars is innocent that the Canterbury was destroyed through the actions of Naomi Nagata, an operative of an OPA sleeper cell. Are you willing to make that statement? That can't be true. That even if Naomi is OPA, without her, I'd be dead. She saved her own life, too. Bring up the bogey. Yes, sir. That's the drive plume of a ship decelerating hard toward us. We've been tracking it inbound ever since we picked up your distress call. It's not one of ours or Earth's, and it won't answer our hails. We suspect it was sent for Naomi Nagata. What do you think now? <laughs> 